How can you entice people to pay you more for your products, services, and experience? Most people will tell you to offer more value, and that's a great strategy. But what if I told you you can charge more and offer less? Keep watching this video. Before we talk about how to get people to offer you more money, let's role play for a second. Let's say you're a hotel owner and you're designing an ad for your hotel. Your hotel has a five-star pool and a three-star restaurant. What would you feature in that ad? Three researchers ran an experiment where they asked mock hotel owners that exact question. And they discovered that 72% of respondents chose to feature both the restaurant and the pool. The researchers then asked mock customers what they would be willing to pay to stay one night in that hotel. But here's where the data is going to blow your mind. Some mock hotel owners chose to feature only the five-star pool in their ad, which from a logical standpoint is less value than a five-star pool and a three-star restaurant. But now get ready to lose your head. The researchers asked mock customers what they thought about that same ad, the ad that featured only the five-star pool, the ad that clearly offered less value than the other ad. And what happened? Where do I sign up? The customers were willing to pay between $52 and $164. Or in other words, they were willing to pay 26% more money for a hotel that featured an ad with just a five-star pool compared to a hotel that featured an ad with a five-star pool and a three-star restaurant. Crazy! While hotel owners assumed that they could charge more for a one-night stay in a hotel that featured a five-star pool and a three-star restaurant, the reality was that customers were willing to pay more money, 26% more money, for a hotel that only featured a five-star pool. Meaning, people were willing to pay more for less value. But what's the practical application for this? Well, first, what's this research really telling us? When you have something that's just average, like a three-star restaurant, it can hurt the value of something that's amazing, like a five-star pool. How does this apply in the real world? Well, let's look at it like this. First, are you selling a product or a service? Instead of highlighting all of the benefits of what you're selling, omit the average and focus on the best. As an example, when you're selling something, you might tend to over-explain as a way to justify your price. But it turns out, over-explaining can actually make people want to pay less. So don't do it. Second, are you trying to look awesome on paper, like in a resume or a cover letter? Instead of highlighting everything that you've ever accomplished, focus on the best. For instance, if you haven't swam in 10 years, omit the fact that you were on the high school swim team. Third, are you looking for investing for your software product? Don't worry about every little thing that your product can do. Focus on what's gonna blow people's minds. And finally, this is the example the researchers gave in their paper. Are you giving a presentation? Instead of trying to cover as much as possible, focus on presenting less ideas, but make sure they're high quality. But now check this, I've instinctively used this when building social triggers. I've always erred on the side of high quality and I never let the low quality articles dilute the good stuff. Turns out I was taking advantage of a proven psychological principle that whole time and that's why you should subscribe to Social Triggers TV. Boom. That said, do you know anyone who believes more is better? Share this video with them and watch their jaw drop. Also, take a second to like this video and then leave a comment letting me know how much you think this video is going to make you. And finally, you'd be a fool to not sign up to the Social Triggers newsletter. And I pity the fool. So type socialtriggers.com in your URL bar and get on it. Not only are you gonna get videos just like this, you're gonna get access to premium training material that I only share with email subscribers. But now check this. I got nothing.